All right, so I gone ahead and made a few uh, little adjustments here. Uh, I went ahead and built a little apparatus to hold the thing. The can I had was flexing too much, and uh, it was actually causing the magnet to bounce a little bit unnecessarily. So I went ahead, uh, built a nice little enclosure here for this thing. Uh, basically, uh, you can see it's just got the hull sensor now mounted a little distance away from my coil, mounted up in there. We got our two little wires. Uh, here's our circuit. Uh, really simple. Uh, we got our uh, driver circuit over here. Um, that guy is just basically pulsing our coil. Um, ignore that. That's, uh, that's just an extra diode there. Uh, that diode just tells me uh, that's just flashing when it's pulsing. Uh, those wires go up to the coil. Uh, it's got a little diode here for um, handling reverse current. Uh, 494... Um, chip oscillator circuit there driving the uh, trigger on this power MOSFET and uh, this little coil, this little wire here is running up to a hull sensor which is of course mounted in uh, the tip there at the end of our magnet alright so let's go ahead and turn this guy on here um, first of all I got 12 volt and I got 6 volt, 6 volts for the hull sensor, 12 volts for the line and if we take our little magnet here and everything works out. We shouldn't start to feel it grab there. I'm gonna have to adjust this guy a little bit. Turn her up there a little bit. And there you go. Right there. And then you see it's got a little wobble to it right now, and that's I think it's partially because of my magnet is um my electromagnet that I made is too skinny. Uh, I think wider electromagnets seem to to uh, handle that a little bit better here. And if I can keep it from falling off, oh, darn it! Let's see if I can show you guys it moving up and down real quick. So if I can keep it still, uh, hold on just a second. Let me tweak this guy a little bit more here. Alrighty. There you go. Up and down. It's rough. It doesn't like it, but it does it. There you go. For all you non-believers. Oh, shoot. I shut her off there. All right, there you go. I uh, got to say that one was probably one of the most challenging things I've ever tried to build. Uh, definitely make sure if you want to do this on your own, uh, make sure you understand all the different components because it's not going to happen unless you really understand what's going on. Um, I'll make another video where I explain a little bit more in depth, but there you go. Um, floating magnet. <laughs>